Auditor Jesus Christus and welcome to Gloria TV News. Downfall. The latest issue of the Polish Catholic weekly Tygodnik Powszechny presents in its main article a transsexual by the name of Kinga Kosinska. Kosinska details that after having his genitals amputated, he's sometimes dreaming that they are growing back. Or he regrets that he has no menstruation. Kosinska is a member of the homosex group Faith and Rainbow, which is fighting against the sexual morality of the Bible and the Church. In the time of John Paul II, Tygodnik Powszechny was the leading voice of the Pope in Poland. John Paul II gave one of his few interviews to the Weekly. In early July, Tygodnik Powszechny gave Cardinal Kasper the possibility to attack Catholic conjugal morality. Protect Nigeria The Nigerian bishops have issued a powerful statement in defense of marriage. They call recent attempts to redefine marriage, quote, sad, unjust and lamentable. Accepting this Western trend, quote, will be devastating and detrimental to our nation, Nigeria. The bishops urge the state to shun all pressures and protect all Nigerians from the growing but dangerous influence of the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender propaganda. Maliciousness 58-year-old Father Leo Riley, who was accused of sexual misconduct, was cleared of all charges of wrongdoing by an independent investigative unit. He was bogusly accused of a sexual assault 30 years ago. Father Riley denied the allegations from the get-on and passed a polygraph test with flying colors. The investigation was conducted by a former FBI agent, although the case was beyond the statute of limitations. Officials at the controversial survivors' network of those abused by priests took the occasion to condemn Father Riley again. Catholic League's Bill Donahue comments, they should instead apologize for their maliciousness. Changing Magisterium Former BBC chairman Lord Patton has called on the Church to allow communion for people living in adultery contradicting Jesus Christ and the Gospel. Patton hailed Pope Francis for, quote, heroically opening up a debate about whether the Church should adapt itself more to take account of contemporary realities or whether it should hold fast to an unchanging magisterium. In July 2014, Patton was named by Pope Francis President of the Committee to advise the Vatican on communications. Patton is a trustee of the ultra-liberal British weekly The Tablet. This was Gloria TV News. Thanks for being with us today and God bless you.